Hi guys, Matthew Galea from Content Hype here. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy in these uh, crazy times. Uh, I'm just putting together this short video with an accompanying blog post today to I guess give uh, business owners three simple things that they can do for their marketing uh, in this time. So uh, I think the first thing all business owners should start doing at, at, at this point in time is really reviewing their website. Um, as people are forced uh, to stay home more and more, you're going to see a lot more people sort of looking at your, biz your business's website first and foremost to uh, find out about who you are, what your business does, and it's really important now more than ever that your, your website is up to date and has all the services that you offer uh, and you know, it gives, gives your audience a really good idea of, of what you can help them with. So uh, check your website, jump on there, pretend you're a customer accessing it for the first time and think about how easy is it to navigate uh, are all your services listed there? Obviously, you know, you're going to lose the power of face-to-face -face, uh, connection at the moment where you can perhaps talk about things that aren't on your website. So if there's anything missing, make sure you get it on there. If you check the blog out, there's a couple of links to some tools you can use to actually do a, a website health check. Uh, and they, they'll give you a few pointers on, on things that you can do to uh, improve the quality of your website. The other thing you might want to do during this time is actually get some surveys out to uh, past clients and customers uh, and find out how they, how they thought you went in, in sort of servicing them. Um, there's a really simple net promoter score uh, survey that you can send to your customers and you can do this via Google Forms or SurveyMonkey. Again, more details on the blog. But effectively, you just want to ask your customers on a scale of one to 10, how likely they would be to recommend you to their uh, colleagues, to their friends, to their family. Uh, and what we wanna do with these answers is really understand how many of your customers are um, detractors, so people that score you zero to six, your passives, seven and eights, and your promoters who score you nine to 10. Um, you really wanna understand what you can do to make your detractors into promoters, so work out why they weren't happy with your service or, or, or product, and uh, see what you can do as a business to actually uh, better your, your performance. Uh, and with your promoters, I guess you really want to try and get as many good Google reviews or uh, recommendations or testimonials from them as possible, which will really help your marketing at this time. And third of all, you might want to uh, start looking at your social media marketing performance. So whether you've been really active on social media or not, it always pays to go back and look at what's performed really well for you on social media and what hasn't and using that as a basis for what you do in the next you know, six to 12 months. If you've got content there and you're thinking about posting it and you're arming and ahhing about, oh, I'm not sure if people will like this or not, just post it and see. If it, if it, you might surprise yourself, you might get more engagement than, than you thought you would, um, or you know, if it doesn't work, then you just try something else next time. Uh, when it comes to working out what you want to put on your social media, I mean, I, I always focus on making sure I have content that will either educate empower or entertain my audience um, and if you can't do education or empowering then just focus on entertainment for now because I'm sure everyone could use a, a bit of a laugh in these tough times so I hope you found that somewhat helpful you can go to the blog and uh, read the full post uh, for more uh, but that's it from me stay safe and stay healthy